Welcome to today's reflective act of worship from Newcastle Cathedral. We hope you will find it helpful as we gather today, from many different places, yet one in faith and hope. As God's people we have gathered, let us worship God together. Wherever you may be, try to find a still place, a safe place, a place where you can take a moment to pause in body, mind and spirit. Remember that there are many others, both near and far away, pausing and praying with you in this moment too. Let us pray. Faithful one, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Having stilled and prepared ourselves to hear God's word for us, let us listen to the Gospel reading appointed for today. The Gospel of St Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 to 35. To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Remembering that the word of God is living and active, let us now reflect on what God might be saying to us today through this passage of scripture. Today's reflection is offered by Canon Jean Skinner. As a mum, I lost count of the number of times one or other of my children would complain. It's not fair. Children complain all the time about each other, about the rules of a game, or one wants something that the other's got. Their complaints are compelling. Their experience of what they perceive as being treated unfairly takes them over and in fact they just waste their time. In our gospel reading Jesus is comparing some adults to children rather than behaving as mature adults their behaviour is quite childish they have simplistic expectations and readily make superficial comparisons judgments about other people who do not behave as they expect. John is in prison and he sends messengers to Jesus. John is judging by expectations rather than looking more deeply into what's going on. And John and Jesus were both godly people, but they were different. Jesus uses illustration to describe the way the Jews were behaving. He's not addressing the unbelievers here, but the church of his day and the religious people, the Jews whom God had chosen. They were the people who should have had a proper attitude and an understanding, but instead they behave like children. These Jewish leaders had their own opinions concerning what God's religion was. They were proud of their own wisdom and they were ready to criticise rather than listen, ready to reject because it wasn't what they expected. They rejected John because he was too austere, 
and they rejected Jesus because he was too liberal. He ate with sinners and tax collectors. They were quite certain they were right in their wisdom and opinions and in consequence they were ready to criticise and reject rather than to listen, assess and believe the ones God sent for their salvation. Jesus is inviting them and us to grow up and to take a more mature view. By constantly criticising, they were missing the point. Now let's face it, we can all miss the point. It's uh, at times we judge each other, criticising each other, as if we were right and other people are wrong. And the church has been good at this throughout the centuries. Criticising each other because they're too strict, too soft, too liberal, too academic too down to earth. We label each other with different names rather than simply seeing each other as godly people with a different point of view. Each faction thinking they're right and only their way is truth and everybody else must be wrong. Jesus is calling us to see beyond the surface to reflect more fully, to let our prayer go deeper. If we are able to give time and attention to noticing where God is moving in our midst, we may be able to receive God's gifts of wisdom and insight. It's so easy to address situations motivated by our attitudes rather than our principles by feelings rather than our understanding. There are so many issues in our world to think about and to try and understand. Climate change, inequality, racism, poverty, tax avoidance, COVID-19, Brexit and many others. All issues we make judgments about because it suits us. Sometimes judgments without the appropriate response or action. Reflection on the situation in our world shows that this simple saying of Jesus casts a light on our badly polarised world and also on our own judgments. We can be too quick to express our thoughts which are actually our feelings, often on social media when in fact much of social media commentary of our age is like the children shouting in the marketplace. Transitory, inescapable, and momentarily engaging, but shallow. Following Jesus demands that we grow up and look more deeply into what is going on. Stop judging others and fighting between ourselves, criticising and just waste time. Rather than time wasting, let us look more deeply so that we might understand and be the mature adults that Jesus challenges us to be. Take a moment, press pause if you want, to reflect on what, if anything, struck you during today's reflection. Were there words of comfort? Were there words of challenge? And now, remembering that all are precious in God's sight, let us pray. We pray for all those who work in social services, particularly at this time, when there is both pressure on budgets and staffing, but especially when families and others feel under such stress. Give wisdom to social workers, team managers, reviewing officers, directors and all those who work with difficult situations and have to make hard decisions. May they have your compassion for those they seek to help and bless them in their difficult tasks. Lord have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. We pray for all those who work in the criminal justice system, those who staff courts, those who prosecute and defend, those who judge. We give thanks for all those who work so hard and with such skill and dedication in to, right, to protect the rights of all and to seek justice. We pray for wisdom and long-term understanding for all those in government who make decisions and policy for how laws are applied, so that there may be justice both for those who are victims and for those who are accused. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We pray for all those who live in poverty in our community, for those who feel that life is a daily grind of managing. We pray for all those who struggle to feed their families and make ends meet. We pray for those today who will struggle to pay a bill they weren't expecting, or who will go without a meal to feed someone else. We give thanks for all those who provide debt counselling and help, for all those who work in food banks and other places which seek to help. We pray for a greater sharing of our resources and greater financial justice in our land. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Today's collect is for Ninian, Bishop of Galloway and Apostle to the Picts. Almighty and everlasting God, who called your servant Ninian to preach the gospel to the people of northern Britain, raise up in this and every land heralds and evangelists of your kingdom, that your church may make known the immeasurable riches of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we come before God from our different places, with our differing opinions, may we look more deeply, so that we might understand more fully the saving grace of God, through the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us dwell in the peace and protection of God this day and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our daily reflection today. I hope you enjoyed the musical interlude from our choristers who have now returned to sing in the cathedral. The daily reflection will continue Monday to Wednesday in this format, but will be offered in the form of a service of choral evensong on Thursday and Friday evenings beginning this week. You can watch the choral evensong whenever you would like to do so, and it will include a short daily reflection and prayers similar to what you have got used to in the last six months. So please do join us again. The service will be greatly enriched by the singing of our choir and will change in some ways, but we hope remain familiar and useful to you in many others. Thank you. <laughs>